You know, I didn't even realize it's a full moon again. What the hell is it with us going to haunted forests on a full moon? Look at that. That's creepy. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. It makes it all worthwhile. All the hard work. Okay, so before we jump into today's video, um, I have just got back well, last night, uh, this morning. I don't even know when it was, but I've been home for about 12 hours and uh, I got straight into bed. Um, the video you're about to see, um, I filmed two days ago. And when I got home, I was greeted by Amazon. I'm like, I haven't ordered anything from Amazon. Unless my, my water, I have like a monthly water thing that uh, gets repeatedly delivered. I'm like, That's early, that's like a week early. And I see him getting all these parcels on, like, what is going on here? And I open the door, they're all addressed to me, I'm like, what is happening? But then, but then, I realised that you guys have been buying stuff off the Amazon wish list. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. I didn't think anyone would buy anything. Uh, it's just a wish list. Uh, I don't ask for cash donations, I don't like taking cash donations, but if anyone does want to help out, I have this wish list there where you can pick up items for the travels, for the camping videos, for filming, etc. And um, I'm going to jump straight into it. So, for the first person, so first of all, we've got Emma Biswell who says, I have enjoyed all your videos so much and wanted to thank you for your content. You're an amazing person and it really shows through your videos. Thank you for being the way you are, Emma. And Emma picked us up one of these toasty makers. Um, this is gonna be prime. Not only can you make toasties, but I could make all kinds of stuff with this. Um, you basically put the stuff in, you clamp it shut and put it in the fire. They do have a life expectancy, so I'm just saying they've got a life expectancy, but they've got a 25 year warranty on them, so um, thank you so much. That will come in super handy. In fact, one of the next videos, I'm definitely gonna make some toasties with that. Then we have Thomas Head. Now, Thomas picked us up. I can't believe this. This camping cooking kit, it's got like different uh, utensils in it. It's got a pot pan, um, a gas uh, a gas thing for, for cooking on. That is a prime bear kit. I mean, you saw like, well, no, this video you're about to see, you see what I'm cutting that steak with. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. But not not only that, he also picked us up a toasty maker too. So me and Plex have one each, so that is gonna be perfect. So we don't have to wait around. We can enjoy them together. Honestly, Tom, that's that's amazing. But that's not all. He also picked us up this. Um, it's a it's basically so we can have a clean fire. We can have a fire without leaving a trace at all. Stainless steel mesh burner. Now this is gonna come in real handy in abandoned places. Um, like abandoned factories and stuff so we don't have to have it on the concrete we can literally set it up in this clean it out with water afterwards you'll never know we were there so again thank you so much but that's not all he also picked us up a massive um three three meter by five meter camel net so that again is going to be prime for some of the some of the cameras so honestly thomas that is massively appreciated that was absolutely massive so thank you so much for that who we are we on to, oh right okay so timmy sweet timmy sweet picked us up this here another mesh burner um obviously they do have life expectancies and and then obviously we, we damage and stuff over time we've got a backup so that is perfect thank you so much timmy much much appreciated i've now taken them off the wish list uh, i've done it now where when you order something off the wish list, it, it comes off the wish list, so you can only order one at a time. Okay, Timmy Sweet, not only did he get us that mesh burner, but he also got us this uh, toasty maker again. So we now we got a third toasty maker. So this is going to be our backup just in case one of them breaks or, you know, um, the 25 year guarantee uh, doesn't hold up too well. So, uh, yeah, perfect. Honestly, thank you so much. Deirdre, 
Now Deirdre went all out. And I've got to, I'm dedicating this video today to all these people because honestly it's, it's unbelievable. But she picked us up not just one, but two tents. So these ones are rated to minus five, I think it is. So these are gonna be prime because we don't really go under minus minus three, minus four. So these are gonna be brilliant for winter. Um, I'm not sure, they're either one man or two man, or I think they're one to two man. Uh, but these are gonna be brilliant. You'll see these in a couple of upcoming episodes. But yeah, thank you so much. It's so, so generous. And then David Clark says, hi Dan. Uh, keep keep hi Dan. Just keep making videos on YouTube. It was good seeing you in York last Friday, David Clark. Because for those who didn't know, I met up with a bunch of people in York. Just have a drink. Just chill out and have a drink. Why not? Oh man, David, David, this. So I've wanted to do one of these for years, and I've just never taken the plunge to buy one. This uh, you put basically uh, it's like lighter fluid almost. Uh, it's a clear fluid in there, and you light it. It's like an old school uh, gas light. It's like an old school miner's torch, and we can hang this in the tent. It's pretty safe. I mean, you've got the glass casing around it, um, but it's going to be perfect. I'm going to use it walking around some of the forest when we're doing the paranormal stuff. I'm actually going to guide us through the forest with this. So. Honestly, thank you so much. So much appreciated, honestly. Um, and then last one. Feels like Christmas. Look, these are gift bags. Some of the, so some of the other ones were gift bag, right? But obviously, because I didn't know what they were at first, I'm just ripping open it. And then it was like Christmas. I, I, couldn't, I was like a child. I couldn't control myself. I was just open everything. I was on the phone to like sit down. I'm like, ah, we got this. Oh, we got this. And uh, next time, I'm going to just put anything aside if we get anything else. And me and Flex will open them together. Um, sorry, Flex. But... Enjoy your, enjoy your adventures from Graham. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's another mesh burner. Okay, now we got three of these. Perfect though, because honestly, um, even even though it probably has a guarantee on it or whatever, then but the way we have fires and stuff, it's probably not guaranteed for that long. So definitely worth having spurs honestly i really really appreciate that so we've got three toasty makers three fire burners cam on there utensils two tents and an oil burner so thank you so much if you do want to help out the wish list is there it's, it's pinned in the comments uh, it's on the screen um it's not necessary at all not necessary at all but it is super appreciated there's all kinds of stuff on there from lighting uh, for getting the thumbnails from camping stuff for film filming stuff for exploring you know all kinds of stuff is a various stuff on it and, and some stuff right at the bottom ignore that that's stuff that i put on there for what i was buying because it was like just a normal list before i made it public so just ignore them but anything like upwards from the camera lenses and that that's all the camping stuff that we need so yeah let's get into today's video uh which is the return to epping forest oh my god i have messed up something rotten what is up everyone welcome back to another camping video but in utter disaster we've just driven three hours south only to then realize that i used this car to do a tip run only a few days ago i never ever take my equipment out of the car but i emptied the car and put my ground sheet on the bottom and did a big tip run the skip the tip the trash got rid of it all and i didn't put the stuff back in the car i have everything in the car because i went to um home bargains and got loads of wood put my bag in the car put all my paranormal equipment in the car the ground sheet is still in the car from when we did the tip run but i just don't have the tents in the sleeping bags so yeah Argos it is. Okay, Flex. Right. Crisis averted. I got a tent. It's a six-man tent because it's the only <laughs> one they had in stock. The only tent. And they didn't have any sleeping bags, so we had to buy quilts. So I got a 10.5 TOG double quilt. and a, and a No, sorry. A 10.5... 13.5. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, yeah. 13.5 yeah. double and a 10.5 king. We're right. glamping tonight. No, this is how we have to do it when we mess up. But good thing is, I didn't forget my Red Bull. You know, I didn't even realise it's a full moon again. What the hell is it with us going to Haunted Forest 
on a full moon. Flex, enlighten me. We are the moon campers. We are the moon dwellers. Every time there be a moon, we come. <laughs> on the motorway and something flung up uh, off someone's car and hit the front of the car. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to go on. Let's go and have a look. I don't know. It's gonna, it went with a bang when it hit the front. I'm hoping it's not the whole grill. Oh, but yeah, it's the sub up down here it smashed the front yeah look at that it's brought the grill shattered the whole grill oh no is that there yeah that was a uh, I just wondering what the hell it was there's quite a few like bits of feathers like I don't know what it what it was oh look what's that there it's like a bit of gunk or something oh uh, and there they're likely an animal. Yeah, it looks like it might have been an animal. Check underneath here, make sure it's not in there. No. No. Well, oh, you know what? It's never ending. It's never ending. There's always something. There's always something. Moon, I curse you. You know what? I've lost count how many times the front of this, of this car has been smashed up uh, on these adventures. Honestly, to the point where the front left grill was already missing the one at the bottom, and I've not replaced that because I think I've, I think it said I'd bought like four of them already on eBay. I've replaced it like four times. The amount of times we smashed the front of this car up on the adventures, especially when we do like you know getting down roads that haven't been down in 50 years, like that one we did in Cumbria, and we had to. You know, the flights took us to, and we, we smashed the front of the car. Um, when I went to a mine, we went, <laughs> went over this hill, and it was honestly the hill was like on, on a cartoon, you know, where you just go like that. Yeah. <laughs> and and as, we went, as we came up the hill, it came the car came off all four wheels and smashed the front end and knocked every grill out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, that sucks, but. No way, two the, this time. We're back again. What is the odds in that? We're back again, and now there's two of them. All right, so let's turn Floyd off. But we're on Hangman's Hill now. So this is famous for letting your car roll up an incline. So, um, I mean, right now we're definitely going up an incline because the car can feel the uh, struggle, but I wonder whereabouts it is where it actually lets your car roll uphill. Oh. Apparently, it's over here. No, well, this is definitely a hill, whatever it is. Is it going to roll up the hill? Oh, so it's meant to roll up this one. No, I don't know. Let's try it. What's that down there? Who is that? I don't know. What is it? It's a bag. A bag of what? Nothing. Like a see-through bag. Really weird. Look at that. See it on my camera. Right, well, the, ca the car is not rolling up this hill. Let's put it in neutral. Stop the car. No, we're rolling backwards. Oh. Right, we're rolling backwards. Right. It's not this bit. <laughs> the, the pin takes me directly here, so right. let's stop here. Are right, you ready? Right, let's go for this. Neutral. Ready? No. We're going, going backwards. We're going backwards. Where the hell is it? No, oh. backwards. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's deer all over the field. They are everywhere. 
There's so many of them, we should have a big enough torch to shine it out the windows, but interesting. Just look, they're just chilling. Look at them all. I've never, oh, he's got some baby ones. Are they called fawns? Yeah. Baby deer. Right, we found it. Right, watch this. Neutral. We're in neutral. You ready? We're rolling up the hill. We're actually rolling up a hill. Neutral. And we're rolling quite fast. Wow. Right, so you're jumping in. You're going to put it in neutral. Put it in neutral now. That's neutral. Right, neutral. right you ready? ready? Foot off the brake. Now you ready? Let's watch him go up the hill. Look at that, he's rolling up the hill. Oh wow, this is dangerous. This is scary. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 so press brake! Press the brake! <laughs> right, okay. Still in neutral. Can't be bothered you riding the car off. <laughs> right, you ready? Right, get out, let's go and find somewhere to camp. Right, so we're, we're heading towards a church. And um, we're going to take a walk from there and find somewhere to camp. Um, and I will be telling you more haunted history of the place. Um, but I'm not sure what we're actually going to do tonight. Whether we're just going to do a stealth camp or not. We'll see. Yeah, well that doesn't look creepy. I have to turn the, uh, it's going to look really grainy. I have to turn the ISO ride up, but... It's um, it's definitely ominous. Oh, that's better. Look at that. That's, that's creepy. Well, if we go around the back of the church and camp in the forest there, yeah, we can have a fire because we're not on we're not on the grave the graveyard. Mm -hmm. We're in the forest. Is that noise? Yeah. What the hell was that? That that wasn't a normal fox noise. Could have been out. Uh, it could have been, but I didn't sound like an old fox. Right, come on, let's grab our stuff and set camp. I need a, it's getting cold already, so let's. Uh, yeah, if we walk through the graveyard, we'll go right to the back. Are right, you ready to go and find somewhere to camp? Full moon's beaming down above you. Let's go. It's kind of eerie being in here. Oh wow, it's actually got fairy lights all over it. Yeah. Wonder how you turn them on. A lot of them are around here. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Stealth camping in the church. I do know a church that I can get the key for. Let me turn the brightness up on this. down this into here. What's that? Well, that looks pretty good. Yeah. What? Where are the crystals? What do you say? Oh, 
come back to that bag of wood. I've left a bag of wood down there. I'll come back to it. Um, you... Yeah, right there. there. That looks all right. Yeah. Nice and deep. All right, let's see if we can get it set up here. Uh, I'll set the fire. Yeah. Okay, we've got the tent set up. So this is the tent we bought, it's a six man, it's huge. Um, I do have my camo netting though, I found it in my bag. Doubt it's gonna cover it, but I'm gonna put it over anyway, just to give us a little bit of camouflage. Right, so we've got the tent set up. Um, what we're gonna do is, I've set two little fires. So this one is gonna be our main warm fire. Let me turn this down a little bit. It's gonna be our main warm fire. This one is actually gonna be our cooking fire. So I'm gonna let that die out, and uh, I'll put, the, what? Two fires? Yeah. Why? I'm explaining. That one is gonna be the, the cooking fire. So when that's died out and it's just embers, we'll put the pans on that, and this is gonna be our warm fire. So doing it a little bit different this time. And um, yeah, it's even though we've got fires, still very stealth, we are, in the middle of nowhere but people do lurk around in Epping Forest some of them looking for the supernatural some of them looking for normal people welcome everyone to another episode and today you already know you join me in Epping Forest right now we've just set camp um, this place obviously is notorious for many different hauntings which we'll go through soon right now we've camped out right near Hangman's Hill light requested by these people here uh, you've seen the dilemma we've gone through at the moment. Um, yeah, idiotic me didn't put the stuff in the car. So we've got a giant tent right now. Me and Flex are going to be sharing it. i got food tonight. We've got nice drinks. You already know how it's going to be with the stealth camping. And I will say this, okay. I dropped a hint last camping video on the roundabout that I've been influenced by a YouTuber and I wanted to see if anyone could guess. And a couple of negative comments, people saying, oh, you need to give credit to that person. Um, yeah. You're gonna be like that. This is not the channel for you. You might as well leave now. But for those who guessed right and enjoyed the whole mystery, yes, it is Steve, Camping with Steve. Me and Flex have been binge watching his videos. I think he's absolutely brilliant what he does. Um, I, I just, I think he's a, a breath of fresh air. I've never seen his videos before until his roundabout video popped up. And yeah, um, let's just say I am a Steve fanboy. Right, so this is inside the tent and I wasn't exaggerating when I said this thing is massive. Uh, it's a big six man tent and you're pretty good, like 12 people sat in it upright do you think it, yeah i mean it's massive you when he said six man i didn't think they meant like you know <laughs> six giant men from and you know neanth old man times i was thinking like you know six very small men 
yeah. not seven foot men. This this thing is massive. You can nearly stand up in this thing. I mean, not quite if you're tall, but if you're on the short side, you can stand up in it. I think for stealthing, it's it's not it's not ideal, it's not and stealth. especially it's red. Mm -hmm. um, but beggars cannot be choosers, and uh, yeah. If we don't get seen tonight, it's a miracle. I do have a camo net I'm going to throw over it, but again, it's not going to cover the whole thing, I don't think. But, it is waterproof. Yeah, Should I mean... Should any condensation getting through that? Yeah, the good thing is the ground... We've put an extra ground sheet underneath, and the one that's on the bottom of the tent, I don't think I don't see it going going through at all. Shouldn't do. That's... Cool. Uh, I put some more logs on that yeah. that are damp. Just put them to the side for them to dry out. Yeah. Uh, we'll be able to cook on that so soonish. Yeah, to keep warm fire if we need right. it. So I haven't explained this yet, but there's two fires. That's for a reason. That is a cooking fire, and that one is a heat fire. That's why it's, I presume that's why it's closer to the tent. Yeah, yeah. Well, in view as well, because yeah. that one's going to die out soon. Yeah. Um, I need a drink though. I'm not, not, not alcohol though. I have a good selection of um, sodas. Yeah. Um, Spent too much time with Josh. Okay, let me rephrase that. Some fizzy pop. <laughs> I spent too much time with Josh. So there's no troopers tonight or anything like that. No troopers. Um, look, me, look at that. Look, how look, at, look at this. Look. Duvets. Because there was no no sleeping bags. There's duvets and a pillow from the hotels. Yeah, from a long time ago. Don't <laughs> what do you want about a long time ago? What, like an hour ago? You know, when he snuck it out. An hour ago is a lot. Just in case they're watching. Oh, it's a plane. Oh, just in case they're watching this. They're like, no, that's one of ours. Oh, oh, he said ages ago, so it can't be one of ours. All right, okay, you know, it was tracks. two years ago. Right, anyway, I'm going to grab a quick drink. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. No. What, what was that weird noise? I don't know. It just sounded like uh, something way in the distance, but in the woods. Almost like a thump. Like a yeah. thumping hollow sound. Oh. It's just a weird woods, that's what it is. I kind of feel better in this tent though. No, I do. You know what? I feel safer in this big tent. The other tents you can't you don't, do you? No. Like this is this is security this. I really want it to rain. Yeah, we've not done a video where it's rained yet. But if it does, we need to put that sunroof <clears> on. Yeah, sunroof. the shelter. Yeah. I don't think it's going to rain. The skies are super clear, you can see the moon. The moon's like just behind us. How awesome would it be to have like a proper thunderstorm? Oh yeah. And we sat in the tent. Yeah. That would be cool. We're going to cook food soon. Yeah, I'm starving. Oh, do we have a surprise to you? <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a fox. Sound like a scream. The fox said. Screams. Stop now. Some weird noises. Yeah. I'm just the only thing I'm worried about is cooking the food in here. It'll be fine. Yeah, we'll see. We'll give it give it like ten minutes and we'll start cooking it. Yeah. But that's it's an owl. Oh. Yeah, definitely an owl. Right, give it ten minutes, let our little fire die down and I'll stick a pan on it and we'll start cooking.
Right then, let's see what we've got. Two nice steaks there. And a very nice platter. And I'm going to serve them to the chef in a second. Come on. Right, okay, so it's not that sanitary because of uh, the situation, but I did manage to find some salt. Alright, well, need to go the old-fashioned way then. Now this is where we realise there's a beast in the woods and it smells the steak and comes after us. We need, a, we need some better cooking utensils. I know, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. My big knife, I don't know where I put it. I think I took it out of my bag because the blade didn't stay where it was, did it? And um, this is the only knife I've got. It's a Stanley blade. Uh, my other knife died. Uh, you know, some, give us suggest suggestions for some better stuff than this for cooking with. Because that's just not ideal, is it? Okay, so if you haven't already guessed, I'm cooking tonight a uh, rump steak, a sirloin steak, with uh, some beautiful vine tomatoes and some tender long pieces of broccoli that's what we're doing for you know what i mean i mean talk about you know five star michelin chef over here it doesn't get any better than this out in epping forest i get better food here than i do at my own house is that true no yes it is true vicky it's true it just doesn't want to say it but they'll be ready in a minute i mean you like yours like mine medium rare yeah no yeah. uh, well i'm about to take it off then yeah so next time I am going to take, um, I'm I took notes on the last video, so the last camping video um, on the roundabout, the engagement was crazy, um, 250 comments in under 24 hours and I had a lot of suggestions of food and I am going to pick this one here for next time's food, so that's what we'll be making next time, so leave your suggestions for the next video after that and I might be cooking your meal. So while we wait for the, the broccoli to, to finish off, it's coming to a boil now, so that's good. It wasn't coming to a boil on the uh, embers. Uh, I'm going to let that sit on there just to remain warm. Get that one done, and they'll be all done at the same time. Just don't have any sauce. 
Yeah, with no sauce this time, but it's all good, it's fine. And the juice of the steak. They didn't have sauce back in the day, did they? Well, that's true. I mean, saying that though, I don't think they had that that great tender broccoli back then, but... Yeah. But do you want me to tell you an interesting fact about broccoli? Go on. Okay, so interesting fact about broccoli. Um, when I was in high school, year seven to be precise, I had an English teacher called Miss Park, and she uh, gave us an, a, a, an assignment, homework assignment, to make a volcano, right? Make a volcano. So, naturally, like, uh, like most year sevens who have homework, I didn't do it. Uh, well, but I did hand in a, um, a volcano because my mum and dad did the volcano. And they, it was like a bonding experience for them. They took pleasure in doing it, right? In fact, I walked in and they were like, you yeah, can't see it yet, I've not finished, right? And the finishing touch that made it just look perfect, my mum ran out to the shop, right? Really nice looking volcano. I wish I'd got photos of it. Really nice volcano. And she put pieces of broccoli around for trees. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Detail. Yeah. See? Yeah. That's where I get my creativity from. <laughs> <laughs> That's where That's I get it. Cool. Yeah, she put broccoli on on the, the around the uh volcano. Did so you eat it, it afterwards? No, in fact, two days later it was all brown. Oh. And it started smelling the air uh, because they put it in the music rooms in the spare music room and it stunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's steaming away, good. Uh, it always goes well, the food. Give it two minutes, that'll be done. Mm. Right, okay, let's get it in and uh, let's cut it open and see how it is. Find you a couple. All right, let's, uh, let's take a quick look at this. It's the first time I've ever cut open a steak with a Stanley knife. Right, the edge is looking well, well I'd say well done-ish. Uh, as we get to the middle. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. It, at least it's not like raw, blue. This is actually not too bad to cut. <laughs> right, yeah, so it's it's not too bad. It's not as, as raw as I'd like it, but to be honest, it was a difficult cut, this one, because of the fire situation. I mean, to be honest. Perfect. It, it's, it's good. Apart from that, we've got an injury. Flex has just bled all over the steak. He's just cut his finger open and bled all over the steak. It didn't go on the steak. Fun times. We'll be fine. Well, luckily, I think it went on your your steak. It didn't go on the steak. We'll be fine. Right, well, while Flex plasters up, this is what we've got. It's not bad at all, considering. I, I wish we just had some bit of sauce. Is that a twig? Yes, that is a twig. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Right. Mm. Oh, it's exquisite. Is it actually? Yeah. Um. Right, which one was mine? Well, so I'll go this side. Yours is a like lumpy mess one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's still nice though. <laughs> it's still nice. It's Angus cut. Yeah, but you made it sound terrible. It was only terrible because it was doused in your blood. <laughs> right, should we zip? It's getting cold, should we zip the tent up? Mm. I think we should now finish this off. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of this. Stay. Mm. I'll tell you what, it is pretty damn good. Mm. Do you like bro the broccoli? We'll try some now, actually. I've never actually tried it. It makes it all worthwhile. All the hard work that went into it. Oh! Oh, yeah.
like this. So I've got a CCTV camera up there. It might go in on there. I put it up there because last time we got a fox on camera walking around the tents. So I wanted to see if we capture any any animals walking around. But whatever that was, it smashed the side of the tent. Yeah. But it could have the cheap footsteps. <coughs> At first I thought, hold on, it could be like a, a branch falling off the tree, right? Mm. But the way it smacked the side of the tent. But then the footsteps. But then it could have been an animal. I'll have to check that CCTV footage. Mm. How soon can you check it? Tomorrow morning when we get back to the hotel. <sighs> oh, whatever it is, I think it's gone. No, I reckon we uh, turn the lights out. Yeah. And just sit in silence for a bit in the dark. Leave the fire on. Yeah. The fire's on like quite low. What are we going to do about that? Well, I would like to finish it. It's going to be cold now. Should we try? It's probably We've probably attracted something because of the, because of the smell of it. When, when do we have a not attract something when we do steak? Maybe we, we should ban on. Maybe we should ban steak for a little bit. Yeah. I don't feel cold. Something else. What was that? A branch or something. Not been for a bit, but I haven't heard anything like that all night. That's what worries me. Running. I'll probably leave the camera on as well, just but without lights. Just in case.
So when something's triggered on the camera, it takes about two or three second delay. So I didn't actually catch whatever was thrown at the tent. But check this out. I did see this in the, in the bottom right corner. Something comes into the frame. There was definitely someone there. And it looks like they just take a look what was going on. And as Flex pops his head out to take a look, they dart off into the darkness. Now this is quite a scary thought. Training trainers. As if it's raining. You said you wanted rain as well. I'll wait for rain. Rain, full moon, full book crack. So it's, it's all going off tonight. Here's the door end because I made the food. I, I mean, to be honest, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down a bit here. Well, not put you down, but in a tent, nobody's safe. Yeah, I know that. Right, I'm gonna put my camera here. I'm not looking forward to this. Flex, flex, flex. We have totally, totally slept in. Wow. Come on, it is like eight o'clock. The car is gonna get towed away if we don't hurry up. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, for a spec out. Well, surprisingly. <sighs> well, we actually slept in. Um, Bit of an issue, yeah. Uh, I we set set the alarm for quarter to seven, and my alarm was going off. <laughs> Waking flats up. I said to him, "You can turn that off." <laughs> he went, That's yours, you idiot. And I was like, "Oh, I mean, yeah, that is mine." Oh yeah, it was weird. And I remember putting on snooze, and yeah, now here we are, eight o'clock in the morning. Sun completely up, and um, yeah, I mean, we survived. It's a bad night, and now I'm just starting to realize some bushcraft stuff over there. Let's go and take a look. Flex is still talking to himself. Um, yeah, some like bushcraft shelters made. Strange bit over there as well. Oh, he says the church with the graveyard. Anyway, let's get this tent taken down. God, the rain last night, oh my God. What should I say, this morning, the rain was horrendous. That's how bad it was, I mean, there's puddles everywhere. Right, call the Nevac. Morning. <laughs> Right. How are we gonna do this? Are we filming the whole process of getting the tent out? Yeah, I'm just starting to avoid already. Right, we've just done a trip to the car, put everything away. Um, we've got the rubbish bag over there. We've covered up the tracks, uh, the fire, with the leaves. There's a bit of a flat patch there, but apart from that, you would never know we were here. 
uh, quite successful stealth camp considering we had a ginormous red six man tent, uh, considering we had a fire, considering um, Flex was snoring. Oh, was it? Yeah, she was. Oh, was it? I, he was even snoring when I woke him up. Let's, oh. Should we replay that clip where he's snoring? No. You, you were snoring when you fell asleep. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't deny that I was snoring, but you're in denial. I've never heard myself snore. Well, I'm going to record it. And I might have already done it, so. Until I hear it, I don't believe it. Oh, okay. Well, everyone in the comments, put Flex, you are a snorer. But I really hope you enjoyed this uh, camping video. Weirdest thing was, was the whole something in the side of the tent. Very strange, could have been just some stuff falling down from the tree, which is more than likely, but I did have the CCTV camera set up anyway because I was hoping that we would capture something, wandering around the tents early hours. Um, left some of the leftover steak outside the door and nothing, uh, nothing took it, which was uh, quite a surprise. Because I, I, I could have sworn that I could hear something like walking around the tent on fours, um, unless it was flex sleepwalking again. Sorry. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. You already know. If you have any suggestions on where to camp next, leave it down below. Plus, how did we do our equipment this time? I think it was slightly better, considering I forgot on the tent. But I will say that someone has bought us two tents, and the next video will not the next video because we're literally going to the hotel now, have a couple hours sleep, then we're driving to the next spot and we're doing another camping video tonight. Uh, so it's gonna be probably the one after that. We'll be fully dedicated to one person because they did buy us two tents from the wish list. Um, two single, very good tents, which will be good for the winter. Um, again, not necessary at all. Um, same with donations, no one needs to donate at all. But anything is much appreciated. Um, I, I, this is why I do merch. Go and pick up your merch instead so you've got something for your money. Plenty of merch on the website. In fact, I do have a big sale coming. Oh, I shouldn't really say that, should I? But yeah, maybe I should. There's a big sale coming up. We're clearing out all the Halloween stock. Um, November 21st. Remember that? Oh, and this because it's a special live stream. Wait a minute, I need to double check this. What day? Yeah, is it Monday 21st? Because then it's not, it'll be Tuesday the 22nd. Okay, no, scratch that, sorry. I go to Centre Parks on the 21st, but um, I do pottery painting. And as uh, a lot of you know, if you join me on my live streams, I do, I make special Exploring Fighters mugs when I go there, I hand paint them and I give them away on live stream. I'll be live streaming Wednesday the 23rd of November being a live stream 8 p.m i'll be giving away stuff but that is when i'll be announcing live the the crazy halloween sale and if you've been in my crazy halloween sales or any sale for that matter you will know i do not do things like 10 percent or 20 percent. i go absolutely off the rails in fact i go that bad that mom and dad have to take me off live stream because it gets a bit out of control and i guarantee there will be a pound item there'll be an item that you can pick up for a pound last year with halloween it was snapbacks um the year before that it was something else i've done it where it's been t-shirts bro t-shirts for a pound i'm gonna buy one yeah well i'm even gonna buy some honestly you gotta be fast but you've got to be there mm. you gotta be in it to win it well yeah you already know how it is guys love you all thank you so much for joining and yeah i'll see you next camping trip yeah let's pick up that rubbish there we go never well, here carry on light yeah well, no, we've only got a few bits in it a couple of cans a couple of trays with the food uh steak wrappers um quilt wrappers <laughs> yeah we didn't do too bad oh i won't i, won't, I actually no it isn't over yet. I want to take you a quick walk through the graveyard. In the daytime, it's uh, it's quite beautiful actually. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, look at this tree. So this is how I want to be buried, right? Just so everyone knows, right? Bit of depressing time right now, but if I die on any of these adventures, I mean, I've done stuff that I should have died doing uh, on this channel. If you've seen the underground series. Um, I want to be buried just like this. I don't want to be cremated. I want to be buried. I want to be buried where people can come and be in the presence of my remains underground. You know, you know, underground. That's how it is. But look at this. 
I want a tree to be planted uh, behind the grave so essentially my essence and fabric and particles and atoms will be in this tree living once more because as the tree grows the roots will rip through your torso and your body absorbing every little bit of you into this tree so technically this tree is made of human bodies too yeah this is how I want to be buried with a big tree uh, well with a tree planted behind it that will absorb me over the decades well, this is a cool one as well I want one like that yeah it's nice with a car on top yeah what car? Subaru Cosworth. oh Subaru mm. I was, I was going to go for a Cosworth then I've not had one yet I own, I, if I do it'll be a car I've owned right okay so at the minute Subaru. Subaru, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll put the GTR on top of mine. Maybe I'll have a headstone with a GTR. Well, I'm going to have mine with no name, but here lies the previous owner of a Subaru in Bretta. May really? He, may he drive in peace. Alright, okay. That's what I'm going to be. Very mysterious. <laughs> cool, that's cracked. Some of these are really old. I would take a look at them and stuff, but to be honest, I'm very, t my eyes are very, very weird at the moment because of the lack of sleep and the smoke from the fire. But yeah, it's a, especially over there, where you've got the tree with all the orange leaves, it looks, looks really nice. I would like to be buried in this graveyard, actually. Okay, well that is it. Again, thank you so much for joining, so much for watching. If you stuck around to this point, yeah, you guys are hardcore. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time.